next few months, uh, this uh, uh, lunar calendar, uh, why, uh, what's going to happen? And is it likely that the destruction of the whole wicked system of things will take place at the hands of Jehovah God, uh, the great executioner of his judgments against Satan and his uh, wicked uh, organization. Well, uh, a lot will have to happen if it to occur by September the 5th, the end of the lunar month of year, 1975, a lot will have to happen. And when you consider how much has to happen and uh, uh, how if it depended upon the normal uh, outworking of things, it seems very uh, improbable, very unlikely that all that has to take place in fulfillment of prophecy will be accomplished by uh, September the 5th at sundown. Not to say that God cannot bring it about by then. He's almighty, and he has his time, and he acts on time. He's a precise timekeeper, and if it's uh, his will to have everything accomplished by September the 5th sundown of this year, why, well, it certainly can come to pass. But then when we see how uh, things are moving along, uh, just gradually, and there's much to be accomplished uh, according to the top uh, processes, why, uh, we begin to wonder, well, now, will all these things happen in so short a period of time that is left? We you know that uh, God is a creator, he is also a destroyer, that's what James tells us, there is one who is able to save and destroy, that is Jehovah. And we know that uh, uh, he created uh, the conditions on this earth for man's habitation uh, during a succession of created days, six in number, each day being 7,000 years long and the six totaling up to 42,000 years from when God uh, began the preparatory work uh, until uh, he finished his uh, human creation. And then that seventh created day began, not that he was creating on that day, but it was a created day in this great creative week. It was really a uh, rest day for God, a day in which he desisted from uh, his earthly work, and he entered into a great Sabbath keeping, a uh, rest uh, for him as far as further earthly creation was concerned. Although he was very active and uh, operated with regard to all the rest of the universe, just as Jesus said, uh, when he was doing works on the Sabbath day and was criticized for it, my father has kept working till I now, and I work too, even on uh, this Sabbath day, doing good work, works of healing and works of teaching. And here we are living in this seventh creative uh, day of Jehovah God. And the question arises, therefore, how far along in this seventh creative day are we? Now we know that uh, this seventh creative day being a uh, uh, seven millennium in length, it can therefore be divided up into uh, seven periods of one thousand years each. And uh, uh, since God uh, purposes to uh, bring the full realization of his original purpose regarding the earth to have it fully uh, inhabited by a perfect human race, accomplished by the end of the seventh creative day, 
Now then, it's very uh, uh, reasonable and unscriptural to expect that the final uh, seventh 1,000 year day of God's Sabbath day would be the period in which Jesus Christ would reign. And uh, uh, he would, as he said, be the Lord of the Sabbath day. And he would uh, usher men out of uh, this work week of toil and moil and suffering and sorrow and hardship and death in which mankind has found itself for the past millennium. And he would usher them into a period of rest, a cessation from such uh, undesirable uh, hardships. And he would also usher them into the great rest of Jehovah God himself. As the Apostle Paul says in Hebrews chapter 4, that uh, we who have resisted when our works of self-justification, uh, we have uh, entered into God's rest by faith in the arrangement, in the provision uh, that he has made. So uh, the question arises, uh, will September the 5th at sundown mark the beginning of God's uh, seventh day day as this uh, final creative day of his, and therefore will it mark the beginning of the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ, in which he will be Lord of the Sabbath. Well now, uh, that being the case, then we have to find out when the great uh, seventh created day of God began. And uh, thus, September the 5th at sundown means that we have already been taught to make it a real Sabbath day for mankind by giving them the millennial kingdom of his son, the Lord of the Sabbath. So we have to find out, uh, therefore, just when that seventh uh, the created day began and when the sixth created day ended. Well, now, when did the sixth created day end? And what relation has uh, the year 1975 uh, to this matter? Well, now, uh, uh, we have not said that 1975 uh, will mark the end of this uh, visible organization of Satan and the devil. We're not making any such prediction as that. We remember the mistake that was made with regard to 1914, predicting what it was going to signify. And we remember uh, the mistake that was made regarding the year 1925, thereby a calculation based upon the old chronology that was used up till then. Why it was figured that uh, the grand jubilee of jubilee uh, would begin. And uh, that, that year would be marked by the return of the ancient worthies, as we call them, the men of faith of the pre-Christian time. And I remember that uh, uh, Brother Robert said there in a, a discourse, a public discourse uh, given in Kismet Temple in uh, Brooklyn, New York, and he said, if you die after 1925, it'll be your own fault. And so all kinds of predictions were made regarding that year. And, uh, well, I recall uh, at a table discussion uh, after the year had passed, and the matter came up uh, for uh, talking about discussing there at the Bethel table, well, uh, Brother Rutherford uh, uh, made this statement with regard to 1925. He said, I made an ass of myself. That's the way he felt about it. And then he came out with a statement uh, using the King James uh, rendering found in Revelation chapter 10, time is no more. 
by that he meant that we were not going to uh, set dates in the future, calculate uh, certain future dates by biblical chronology and make predictions regarding what was to happen on those dates which we had fixed upon. Well, time was no more. There was to be no more of such uh, nonsense as that. 